What is this? You want to challenge me? Huh? You want to challenge the best IT person in all of the globe? The best IT repair ever? Who's made such great financial decisions? What the shit? Bro, I broke my whole screen. I got this thing for a whopping $15. See if I can make this thing game. Hello, Gordon Freeman. The free PC. Someone challenged me today to install Windows 10 on this thing. I don't think I'll be able to with an AMD Athlon, but you know, if there's a will, there's a way, and I'm going to figure it out somehow. First thing, as you guys saw in the previous video, here's a background of it. I first got the machine with literally nothing with it. No charger, no nothing, no knowledge, literally just nothing. I still have nothing with it. And I had Windows 7 Home, and I proceeded to fail at Minesweeper. Oh my god. But that's besides the point. We're gonna make it run Windows 10. I don't think it's gonna be as simple as plugging it in and installing, but we're going to try our heart's content to do that. Okay, 32-bit. I don't think this will work, but I mean, if it works, you uh, you owe me a, you owe me a, a like on this video and definitely subscribe to the channel, 110%. The smart thing before doing any of this type of installation would be to change the memory. Upgrade it to an SSD. Yeah, no, we're not gonna do any of that. No. Watch, it's gonna fire right up. Look at that. What'd I tell you? What did I tell you? We'll do Windows 10 Home. I feel like that's probably the safest bet. For some reason, the white balance is really f***ed on the camera. I'm sorry about that. I don't know why it's like doing that, but... It's clearly installing. Tomorrow. And look at that. Windows 10 installed. Okay, well, it couldn't throw up the network manager, which is... I kind of ideal, I guess. Don't you just love the white screen? Th this is amazing. Something went wrong. Oh, no. Try again. Alright, I got one more thing on my sleeve here. We're stuck in the network section, so if I just hook up an Ethernet cable, we should be able to get into the network section, and then we're just going to make a local account from there. Asia? Hey, bro, come on now, dog. Okay, I'm gonna be brutally honest. Windows traditional Windows 10 didn't work. And that's kind of a given because these network cards aren't supported. So I have something a little bit better. Multi-boot. Multi-boot for me is just a USB that's running Ventoy, uh, which is just a very basic multi-bootable, has multiple ISOs. So instead of traditional Windows 10, we're gonna run a very lighter variant. And I'm gonna classify this as still yes. A very lighter variant called Tiny Ten. Okay. <laughs> Windows on a CD. I've come to this point where I feel like this should 110% work. I have done this before, and uh, I purposely make CDs for retro machines. I'm not quite sure what build of Windows 10 this is. I think it's 23H4 or 23H2. I'm not entirely sure. There you go, it's installing. Is it gonna work? I don't think so because I don't think it'll be able to process the network card. If you look very, very faintly, you can kind of see it loading there. I don't know if you can see that. Oh my lord, I don't have internet. Oh my god, I've been trying this for so long. It's 12.30 in the morning. You gotta be fucking shitting me, just turned off. I'm not lying. What is this? Day four. Okay, well, next day, as you obviously can tell, and uh, we can actually make an account. So I never really thought that this would work, but I'm not complaining. We're not gonna put a password. We're gonna let this thing load, and then it should jump into some questions that I gotta answer. Oh, f are we soft locked here? Try it again. We technically, we have the user account created. I'm nervous if I restart, it's gonna corrupt the install. But I mean, we could always just reinstall Windows. We're getting this error. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna just try to flush it. See what happens. You gotta be joking. It just slapped me back here. Oh God. So that means it just reset everything. Hmm.
please, 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 please. There you go. So we have a total of three gigabytes of RAM now because this is a one gig module. This should give it a bit of leeway. It's an extra gigabyte of RAM, so it should be a lot better. Let's see, this is the big wonder here. Okay, word. All right, okay, fantastic. I am now on like four hours of footage. Oh my God, I'm gonna have a blast. Windows 7, all in one. Maybe this is a 64-bit machine. I doubt it. We're gonna try. Okay, so we have this showing up here, which is great. We're gonna go now, just next, and we're just gonna go install, and we're gonna install Windows 7. Probably gonna install the, like, a really slim version of Windows 7. I'm pretty sure it just goes as Windows 7. We're gonna do Windows 7 starter. All right, I'll be back when Windows is installed for the third time. Okay, so we gotta make it account. We're gonna call it user. This should just work. Okay, cool. Now we're gonna go get this. We're gonna wait, but. All right, plug it in. I don't think it'll automatically go to 22H2, which is like newest version of Windows 10. We might have to incrementally update it. There we go. Product key. Can I just like not put it? So I just used some random ass product key and it worked. Yeah, I'll put this in the description. It's just default keys. This won't activate your version of Windows. It's just for getting through obstacles like this. Ready to install Windows, Windows 10 Home. And it'll keep files. Install. Oh my god. So I'll be back when Windows 10 is finally fully hopefully installed. If I get any hiccups, I'm gonna fucking lose. I don't know what happened. Oh, it's it, it's really faint. Oh, I don't want to lift it up. It's gonna unplug the charger. It's working on updates. Okay. I don't know if you see that. Use Express. Not now. Next. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I installed Windows 10 on it. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's it. I did it. Oh my god. Windows 10, Windows 10 Home, and the Athlon 3 gigabytes DDR2. That's how you do it. Running at 100% CPU usage. The disk is chilling. You know what? We need to make this even more official. We need to shut this thing down and we need to reboot with the original 2 gigabyte. Then it'll feel official. The 1 gig dim going back in. Oh my God. I'm here on the Windows 10 desktop with two gigs of DDR2, 160 gigabyte hard drive, an AMD Athlon with one core, ultimately on a 15 year old machine. Well, thank you all for watching to the end. If you guys did, please leave a like and comment to get me into the algorithm. I'll see you guys next week. Oh my God.